chance to hold them off and give everyone else time to escape. No. Not someone. Me. <laughs> you know! She's about to get her salad tossed. And not by me. I mean, what? <laughs> she was so cute. I am sad and depressed. I don't know if I can take this. After we saved our village, Karis and I felt the call to continue fighting against all. Oh, she's cute. It's become our wild hunt. <laughs> Speak with Gix in the archives on Red Alert. Report back to the Derman Priory. All right, we're finishing off the Derman Priory. Priory, Priory. Damn it, I did it again. Priory. We're finishing the Priory story. Don't worry, I called it the priority for the longest time. The Derman Priority. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? That sounds like um like an action movie, like the Bourne Ultimatum. The Derman Priority. Are a threat to everyone, Shashu. I'm pleased your village has joined the fight against them. Although war is strange to Quaggins, Quaggins will help the Priory in any way Quaggins can. Hey! Shashu's here. How's it going, Shashu? Who? Commander! Quaggin is very happy to see you again. Quaggin is ready to repay you for saving Quaggin's people. Have you found a new home yet? Cool! It is far from complete, but Quaggins settled on a nice patch outside Lion's Arch. More Quaggins are ready to join Quaggin if necessary. Alright, well, we're grateful. <laughs> anyway. Good day, Explorer. Siren and I have been discussing your recent ordeal. It is tragic. Simply tragic that such destruction was inflicted. I cannot overstate it. The dragons must be stopped. The one bright spot in I this agree. whole situation is that your actions have saved many lives and gained allies for the Priory. As steward, I'm we have our own Quaggan army to the Priory's highest active rank. Kind of. Magister. Thank you, Steward Gix. Ooh. It's a great honor. Congratulations, fellow Magister. Hey, we're the same rank. Celebrate all you like, but I need you to run a small errand as well. An associate of mine recently developed a new equation that might pinpoint weaknesses in higher magical entities, like the dragons. Mava has offered the Priory a copy of her research. Yeah, Magister Nilla Fanilla. I want you to go to Lion's Arch and pick it up. Sounds like fun. I'll meet you at her house. It's on the beach, near the Western Ward. Ooh, the beach. Me and Siren are going to the beach? Aw, yeah. Everything's going up vanilla bean. Damn, filler already? Filler? I never consider the beach episodes uh, filler. In fact, beach episodes are staples. You must always have a, 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 a beach episode in your anime. It's law. This is the right house, but Gix didn't say anything about weird lights and thumping noises. Do you think that's normal? I seriously doubt it. The house's defense mechanisms have been activated. Oh no. The house Maybe has defense mechanisms? Steal Maver's research. We'd better head in and find Maeva. She may need our help. This is like some secret lair to an evil bad guy organization. Wait, haven't no, I haven't been here. All right. Investigate Mava's house. Oh, shit. I triggered the alarm. Hello? How may I ask? Welcome to the home of Mava, extraordinary knowledge technician. Currently, Mava's home is on full alert lockdown due to perimeter. It's an Asura owned house. Yeah, now it makes sense. Will be politely greeted and summarily destroyed. Please remain calm. Is the hospitality defenses vaporize you? No! No, I will not! Combat protocols active. There we go. Asura and ethics never mix. Somewhat true. <laughs> I wish I could argue against that. 
What the hell? I regret to inform you that our defenses have escalated. Dimensional stasis fields initiated, and secondary golemic enforcers are now active. Please remain quiescent till we complete eradication and enjoy the soothing music. She can talk to me right Combat here. What is going on? Active. Restricted weaponry unlocked. Prepare for death. Have a nice time. I'm not having a nice time at all. This is not great. Nope. You're Ooh. I love that they actually play soothing music. As you're being tortured and split apart. Yeah. Mava does research on dimensional and stasis bioscience. I remember Gix going on and on about it. And on and on. Anything that might help in this situation? She invented a device, something called a dimensional anchor. It stabilizes dimensional rifts. That means there's got to be one around here somewhere. The circuit supplies power to the field. Enter the code and disable the field. Oh. Congratulations. You have successfully initiated the dimensional anchor. If correctly installed, the dimensional anchor will stabilize the dimensional field. What? As a side effect, the anchor may cause light, disintegration, and or violent arcane overload. So that doesn't sound great. This is not relaxing at all. Okay, all right. Salutations. I see you're from the Priory. Thanks for the help. I'm glad I didn't have to wait for the defenses to deactivate. And what the hell's your problem, ma'am? Exactly. Oh, 3,500 years, give or take a decade. At that point, I would have emerged from stasis, confident that the radiation was gone. What is this, Fallout? Aha! Uh -huh. The creature that she has her own vault was some kind of Orion scout. I told Gix that my equations predicted an assault on Lion's Arch. This intrusion implies we've reached time critical for that attack. If that's true, then the whole city's in danger. Maver, go to the Priory. Show Gix your research. My friend and I will head for Claw Island immediately. We have to warn the Lion Guard. What's on Claw Island? The Claw Island Fortress stands in the harbor of Lion's Arch. It's the last defense against invasion from the sea. If Zaitan's going to attack the city, its minions will have to fight their way past the fort. And this is where the stories converge, right? So we're going back to Claw Island. You get unique dialogue with Traherne because you're a Silvari. Ooh, okay. Come to think of it, isn't uh, Heart of Thorns uh, Silvari-centric? Because I was thinking maybe I should take my Silvari through the story of Heart of Thorns. The creature we found hadn't been in Lion's Arch long. We may still have time. We have to find the Watch Commander and convince him to ready the defenses. Okay. Yeah, we've been through this before. Yo, Traherne. Hello, hello. I hello, friend. Who I know on this character. Orin. By the bow, Siren. May the tree watch over you, young oh, one. Oh, yeah. How's the Priory treating you? And Traherne knows everybody. Firstborn, it is an honor to see you again. I'm so glad you're here. Something terrible is about to happen. Traherne, this is my dear friend. One of the kindest and most And perhaps more than friends in the, in the future. Magister, this is Traherne. Tyria's foremost scholar on Zaitan and Or. He's a hero to me. We've uh, heard that before on my Order of Whispers storyline. That undead gorilla. The Wait, what? The Orion one you let out of its cage. Yes, that was a menace. Did everything end up well? I misread the sign language. Undead it gorilla? Was kill, and I thought it was saying I feel better. It's wonderful to see you again. If you don't mind, I'll accompany you on your rounds. It's been a while since I've toured the fortress. Ha! <gasps> okay. All right. There it is. Hi, you are already 80. I have uh, a level 80 elementalist. Yeah, my main is 80. I'm taking my mesmer down the Dermon Priory story now. Guild Wars 1 was all about having to go out into the world to unlock skills. Yeah, I've heard this. Ow! Wow! 
Ow! Nah, I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to let them beat me up. It was a design... It was... I can't talk. It was a design mechanic to make sure you couldn't just cheese a mission. You die, the enemy gets harder until you reset the mission. Huh. What the frick? The dragon servants will never let our ships sail. If they Shortcut. surround the docks, they'll slaughter us. And Zaitan's forces will grow. Our soldiers are too injured to fight. They can barely walk. We can't form a defense and still get them all aboard. Someone needs to hold them off and give everyone else time to escape. No. Not someone. Me. <laughs> you know! If I can keep them busy, it's enough of a win for me. Gix always said I was an exception. I was afraid of this! When you and I met, I didn't think about anything but myself. I wanted fun, excitement, risks. I didn't really care about others. In my short life, you've taught me the most important lesson. Friends will go through anything for each other. That's why I have to do this. How do I abort the mission? How do I go back in time? To the mists. Where, when, when we were happy. And we were at the beach. Follow me. Hurry to the ship. This sacrifice shall not be in vain. She's about to get her salad tossed, and not by me. I mean, what? 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 Anyway. I just. I, I just don't. If it's any consolation, Silvari cannot be turned into dragon minions. She can still die. <sighs> Tybalt and Siren are both looking down on you now, VB. Do them proud. So you mean to tell me that every single mentor dies? She lives on in the dream. Yeah, in my dreams. And the Dr. Pepper shipment was saved again. I completely forgot about the Dr. Pepper, uh, the Dr. Pepper thing. Maybe if you can find a bit of her, you can plant it and grow a new one. Like, cloning? Can we do that? Can we grow our own Silvari? Can I grow my own Silvari? Uh, ah. <laughs> she was so cute. I am sad and depressed. I don't know if I can take this. Why do they do this? Why are the interesting characters dying and the least, uh, the, the lesser, the less interesting characters are alive? I don't know if I feel good why, why couldn't it be Logan instead? Why is that? It should have been Logan that sacrifices himself in Claw Island. Not Tibble and not Siren. Who cares about Logan? Logan will remember this. <laughs> Imagine if this was like The Walking Dead or Fallout 4. The Destiny's Edge members are nowhere near as interesting as, you know, the mentors. The only people that I care about on that group is Ritlock, Air, and Kaith. That's, I don't really care about Zoja that much. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. And I definitely don't care about Logan. Logan's just boring. Depression time is over. Let me read the letter from Gix. Assemble in Lion's Arch. Mag uh, Magister. Rumors from Lion's Arch are running rampant. The Priory has heard of all the... has heard of the fall of Claw Island. And of your bravery there. Already a contingent of explorers are speaking with the Commodore to ensure that citizens can evacuate. It seems we must plan for the worst. I need you to assemble with the others at the Derman Memorial in Lion's Arch. The knowledge to defeat the Elder Dragons is out there. It must exist, and we must find it. We will find it. The time for toe-sucking is not during a major battle with an undead dragon's minions. Right? Sepia tone? Oh, come on! It didn't, it didn't apply to sepia tone before! <sighs> All right. Hmm. 
Magister. Is it true? Siren. Sh she's really dead. Yeah. It's true, Gix. I'm sorry. But at least she went out bravely. Because of her sacrifice, the survivors reached Lion's Arch. I'd always hoped Siren she would was learn a responsibility. <laughs> but not like this. She was a turnip-brained, leaf-loving hero. And she will be missed. I was gonna punch you in the face! Siren's courage provided If you had continued that. But your bravery led us to safety, my friend. I owe you a great debt, Magister. You may not be a member of the Priory, Traherne, but you know more about the Orians than anyone in Tyria. What do you recommend? These undead are commanded by a powerful wraith. He'll remain hidden while his minions carry out the slaughter. So, we must discover the unseen, hmm? I believe the Priory has an artifact that will aid us. An idol of Balthazar. The human god of war, murder, etc., etc. It can transform like Kratos. one individual. The more you kill, the more powerful you become. Until your enemy can no longer hide from you. But it is risky. I'll do it. <laughs> totally Siren not Ares. never afraid to take risks. She gave us a chance to protect the city. And I plan to do exactly that. Okay. Uh, enter the ritual circle. Right over here. This is what the hell? Are you sure? Is this safe? Stand still. I'm a Silvari. I'm probably highly flammable. Oh! I don't. I don't feel so well. I told you not to move. Blast it. Well. We can manage with one less. Everyone, concentrate. Is that guy okay? Holy shit! Oh my god, I am amazing! Also, someone died. But yeah, look at me! Whoa. Oh, wrong button. Uh, what does three do? Ooh! Right, some of these are elementalist abilities. Ooh. What is this class? And how do I become it? Well, if we had an infinite supply of Logans, we'd be casting this spell at children's parties for fun. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh. Poor Logan is the Rodney Dangerfield of Guild Wars 2. You don't got no respect, not no respect at all. <laughs> Revenge! I'm angry! You took my waifu! This city is ours. So raise I'll take your life! Oh. Well done, Magister. You channeled the idol's power without turning into a ravaging, blood-crazed psychopath. Ah, I may not have mentioned that particular side effect. Well, never mind. Good job. The idol is incredibly strong. Can we use it against the vanguard at Claw Island? Sadly, no. The human god of mass murder is not a deity that likes to use the same The human twice. god of mass murder. The idol's no longer enchanted. Not long ago, wow, what a way to put it. Mine, Teguin, was trapped He's not wrong. Before. Since her return, she's been training Silvari to fight the Orions. We could use their help. Teguin? Hmm. It's also possible that my researchers have finished their most recent project. They were modifying a sonic weapon we captured from the dredge. Those both sound like good ideas. Manpower or firepower? Give me a moment to think before I decide. I've never met Whatever Teguin before. Decide, I'm going with you. You need the help, and I owe it to Siren. Yeah. To know something, I can help, but I'll leave the commanding to the experts. We'll see what happens. Uh, Traherne. I know a pair of Silvari back in the Caledon Forest, Tagwin and Karis. They are skilled wardens and knowledgeable about the Risen. Can they hold their own in a fight? As well as either of us, we should speak with them. They may be able to recruit more to our cause. Good idea. I like this plan. This sounds more interesting. <laughs> I spawned right on top of the tea set. Hello. 
Y'all are, are a bunch of Mad Hatters. Yay! Hooray! Look how fun this is! I can feel the wind in my hair! Woo! It's like we're in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride! What the hell is that? Firstborn, it is an honor to see you again. Tegwin, Karis, I'm glad to see you both, but I come with urgent news. You are needed. It's Oregon, isn't it? Oh no, what's happened now? After we saved our village, Karis and I felt the call to continue fighting against all. Oh, she's cute. It's become our wild hunt. A proud duty. Tegwin, I'm sure you remember the mirror that washed up on the beach near the village of Anwin. I remember it. I also remember how its magic forced me into awe, and the terrors I saw in that dark land. I didn't like awe at all. It felt like Zaitan's teeth were closing around me the whole time we were there. But we're safe here, right? I'm sorry. They're risen over here too. No longer true. Zaitan has attacked Lion's Arch. Claw Island has fallen, and the city may be next. Oh no! Oh, tumbling turnips! Lion's Arch! It can't... Tumbling turnips! Tegwin, you and Karis have seen the dragon's evil firsthand. My cabbages! We need you to be part of the Derman Priory's effort to save the city. Trahern, I want to help, but we have duties here. There's a champion of Zaitan in this swamp, and we've sworn to destroy her. Then we'll help. We'll enter the swamp with you and clear it out for good. Yeah. We'll get it done faster if we uh, work together as four. Destroy the undead swarm. But she was introduced fairly early. If they were going to kill her off, couldn't they have waited like a couple of expansions? So that way we can go on plenty of adventures together? We've only been on two adventures. It's not fair, man. And comic books, they bring them back and kill them again multiple times. Oh, comic books are notorious for that. It's why I stopped reading Marvel Comics and DC Comics. They couldn't think up of uh, anything original anymore. And I got bored. Infinite loops equals infinite money. Yep. And that's why, you know, these movies, these live action movies are going to... They're already suffering through diminishing returns. They're getting less and less interesting as time goes on. So now that they're into the multiverse stuff, I have a feeling that superhero movies are going to get a lot less interesting from this point forward. That's my guess. Uh, I, that's what I feel anyway. I do, however, still like watching the DC cartoon movies. Those are really well done. Although I'm kind of behind on that. I'm still... Uh, I haven't seen the five, five latest cartoon DC movies. I need to watch the Harley Quinn movie. The, the cartoon Harley Quinn movie. You know, the one where it looks like uh, they went back to the old art style. The Bruce Timm art style. I love Felicia Day and Jesse Cox's interaction. Dude, I remember the old days when I would uh, watch the co-optional podcast. Before, it used to be the TGS podcast, but actually, they met on the TGS podcast? I don't know. It was either TGS or co-optional. Uh, they were on a podcast together, and holy shit, Jesse Cox just... What a thirsty, thirsty boy. God, he has balls for hitting on Felicia Day like that. Like, like, he went hard. That was amusing as hell when that happened. The first three episodes of WandaVision are the weakest, but still a unique experience. I'm pretty sure it's good. Uh, I never doubted that. It's just, I've fallen out of, uh, I've stopped caring about live action TV shows. Listen, do you hear that? It's their master. Zaitan's lieutenant. She's the one that drives these attacks. Her name is Herboza the Wretched, and she's quite creepy. Mold in your mouth. Sounds creepy. like a creepy name. When she's defeated, the undead will scatter. Ready Ooh, your weapons. Mold. That scream is getting closer. I don't hear anything. Oh, I heard that.
What the hell? I don't cons I don't really consider the Marvel TV shows uh, TV shows. They're more like three hour movies set over six to nine episodes. <laughs> I've always said this, but the Marvel Cinematic Universe is already one giant, you know, TV show. It's a, it's been a, it's a long running series. The That's Marvel crazy. movies, She-Hulk. You know what? I actually want to watch that. I saw the trailer for that one. Farewell, Herboza. May your spirit find rest in the mists. The mists, which are far from the dragon, very, very far. Lucky Herboza, really. Thank you for aiding us. At last, I feel the abatement of my wild hunt's call. The danger here is over. Can you date tw uh, Tegwin? Tegwin, you and Karras I'm asking have seen for a what Zaitan can do firsthand. We need you and those like you to come and fight. Ever since our first journey into Orr, Silvari from the Caledon Forest have sought us out, wanting to defeat Zaitan. You fought with them today. They're a stalwart group and loyal. If Karis and I aid you, they'll come as well. A unit of battle-trained Silvari with experience and awe. What more could we ask for? Thank you. We'll see you in Lion's Arch. I'm concerned. The Orions are entrenched. It will be incredibly difficult to regain Claw Island. We can't give up hope, Traherne. I haven't lost hope. In fact, I'm counting on hope to lead the way. I feel that we should ask for wisdom from the Pale Tree. Here comes the Pale Tree's vision. How okay. To defeat Zaitan, it is the mother. Meet me at the grove, and we'll speak with her before the battle. Okay. Now we're in that part of the chapter. Uh, the other day was the anniversary of TB's death. Ah, man, I still remember uh, the day when TB died. I was working. Um at Dunkin' Donuts, and when I was on break, I found out about the news on Twitter when his um, his wife tweeted about it. Oh my god. Rest in peace, Total Biscuit. One of the best men in the, the gaming pundit space. It was really sad. Yeah. It was hard for me to keep on working that day. I felt like tearing up. I felt like crying. Jesse was going to return to Guild Wars 2. He is likely committed to other projects. Isn't he, like, still committed to, like, Final Fantasy XIV? He's going hard on that game. I don't know. I haven't... Uh, admittedly, I haven't watched Jesse Cox's stream in a very long time. The last thing that I've seen on his YouTube channel as well... Um, well, I've been watching his five-minute gaming news uh, segments. They had Jesse play End of Dragons. I saw that, yeah. A lot of YouTubers, actually, but he played more for sure. Well, at least he gave it a more uh, uh, a bigger shake. More people need to give this game, you know, a larger shake than most. I think Bellular, I don't know if you guys know Bellular, but uh, he's starting to, like, tip it. Uh, he's dipping his toes into Guild Wars 2. He's still in the FF14 hype thing, um, in the hype wagon, but... He's also, like, done a couple of videos on Guild Wars. Why do you keep calling him Obi-Wan Ken... I don't know why I didn't process this name until now. Oh my god. Obi-Wan can bone me? Are you kidding me? Bruh! <laughs> All right, sorry about the little tangent, but it's fun to talk about these things sometimes. Let's go. Um, the Pell Tree. I think I can skip most of these cutscenes, actually, right? I, uh, unless there's, like, different dialogue as a Silvari. War is a dark and foul place. Even though I have been here, in truth, this vision is unsettling. Let us hurry. The Pale Tree has lessons yet to be revealed. They say that all was once beautiful. A nation to rival Kryta, Ascalon, and Ilona. The human gods lived in the city of Ara, and the people here were blessed. Ew! Oh, God! Ow! Oh, God! Oh! Oh! oh. Wars caused great devastation. Oh! Oh, man! Oh! I was like, hey, a booty! And then when she turned around with that face, man, I'm like, oh! Better going than coming. Yeah. <laughs> An Ori 
warrior named Vizier Kilbron this read the, the Lost Scrolls of the kings of and unleashed an ancient Walk inside curse. And the curse seek annihilated truth, the Char but army, but it destroyed the all as well. In the a cataclysm an plunged the nation into the ocean. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I, uh, that's funny. And here, in Slaughter, its army grows stronger. Out of curiosity, are you liking the custom button layout that you made, or was pressing F1, F2, F3, F4 more intuitive for Mesmer skills? Um, so, hold on. I did not like F1, F2, and F3, and F4. The F keys are way too further up my keyboard. I would have to constantly move uh, my hand up in order to reach them, and that means I would, you know... Uh, move them away from my movement skills. I, I want to be able to move and use the um, these skills at the same time. So what I did was map them uh, to control one, control two, control three, control four. Here's the the cool thing about this mouse. The mouse that I'm using is an MMO mouse. Not only does it have like 12 buttons on the side, but it also has an extra right click. So it has a left click, one right click, and a second right click. That second right click is mapped to my control button. So I press that button, this button right here, and then one on my uh, my mouse. So the skills, all the skills you see right here, every single one of them are pressed through my mouse. It's a lot quicker and a lot more intuitive for me. I'm weird. It, it It's great. It's amazing. I don't have to move my fingers away from the movement keys. I can always be on the move and pressing skills at the same time. I never have to lift a finger off of the WASD keys. Do you plan to make a rule against people sending you plain gold? Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna say no to gold. I'm not crazy. Remember what you have seen. Speak with me and I will. I haven't done this on my main yet, so I don't know what happens when you select one of these. What did I select last time? Did I select the third one? That one day through my actions I condemned someone to suffer in agony? That was the one that I chose on my elementalist. Okay, so we have to pick a different one. Um, that an innocent person who believed in me would die because I couldn't save them. Two, that I would fail so grievously that I would lose the respect of my comrades and be dishonored. That sounds like I should pick that on my Norn. Okay, I'll pick number one for my Silvari, and my Norn can do number two, and my main can do number three. Perfect. Yeah. You are a good person, uh, Nella Vanilla. That you seek to protect the innocent shows your gentle heart. Hold fast to that earnestness. It also... It will also be your strength. Thank you. Skip! You're in the room with Ventari's tablet. Yeah, I take um, I took a look at it earlier. I saw the tablet uh, a few weeks ago. I, I could outrun my... a centaur. This be the way. I'm I'm gonna continue going this way. Oh what? Wait, huh? What? <laughs> And this is why you always drive and not look at your cell phone. Okay? Don't be like me. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> exactly! This is why you don't text while driving. <laughs> I've fallen, I can't look get there, up. The pale tree was right. The Derman Priory is overwhelmed. We'll have to fight our way in. The scholars need our help. We need to gather everyone we find. Build a fighting force as we head in. Good idea. Be cautious, Magister. These Orions are fueled by the dragon's hatred. And it is strong right now. Don't worry, my friend. I'll watch your back. You they can get mine. mad. We'll just get glad. At any cost. If we lose their knowledge, we could lose the war. 
the best death by falling will be the first one after he gets the glider and either forgets or doesn't notice it's disabled somewhere. No. No, that won't happen. Do... Should I fight them all? I guess I don't have to, huh? Last time on my, um... On my Order of Whispers character, it turned out that I didn't have to do that. Holy shit, they have a laser! What? Bro, they just zapped everybody in the hallway! Like, it's the freaking monitor from Halo! Oh, <gasps> Gix! Oh, shit! Uh, is he okay? That mega laser belt was gigantic. Steward Gix, you all right? I'm fine. Poor, brave scholars. Our explorers fought well, but we were no match for the wizard. You had a laser beam, More though. Undead are coming. What can we do to defend against them? Go downstairs, to the vaults. Defend the research teams. They can help us raise an appropriate defense. Break out the emergency weapon supply. Tell them to gather every obscure invention and ready every inscrutable device. Every... We are not giving up. Is that Once safe? I don't, I don't know the about that. Get back up here. My magic can only hold back the risen for a short while. Well, hurry. Do what if you accidentally pick up a zappy ray that time. instead turns, you know, the bad guys into giants? Are they even tested? Okay. Did you ask if an Asura is safe? Yeah. I mean, look. I am in the Dermot Priory. He's still my superior. What the hell? I saw a naked man! Did you see that? Uh, I've never been down here. What the hell? Oh, shit. They got rooms. A classroom? The hell is wrong with that char? Anyway. Oh, wow. It's like Hogwarts. Kind of. Dude's tripping again. You ain't seen nothing yet. I saw what I saw. And it exists. There is a naked man. The char- <laughs> That char is trying his best. Leave him alone. <laughs> Being the best at what? A hood ornament? There are too many of them. Save yourselves. Women, children, and me first. Calm down. We're here to help. Vacuum magic polarizer. We still have Gore's early prototypes. Here, use this one. Okay. What the hell? Thank you. All right. Mission accomplished. The infestation has been dealt with. What? They got a... What is this? A skeleton? Huh. Lord Zim Allergen? An allergen? Quick. Get the Zyrtec. You did see how the Risen attacked Claw Island and took Siren from us. Oh, don't you even suggest that she got time, turned into pollen. The would have been lost. Thank the pale tree. The mother tree is very wise. I'm glad we saw her. If the Priory had fallen, we'd never be able to defend Lion's Arch. Do you remember what she said? With unity, many impossible things can be achieved. She was right. The Priory can't fight Zaitan like this. We may have the knowledge, but we lack both an army and the resources. We can't have that kind of peace-loving, low-down, poltroon talk. Did the Risen strike you on the head? We cannot give up the struggle. Wow. Steward, the other Orders of Tyria share our concerns about the dragons. Yeah. The Priory should contact them and divulge information on all. We need to create the Kumbaya Terrible Alliance. Idea. The Order of Whispers are underhanded backstabbers, and those brainless warmongers in the Vigil are even worse. You're wrong, Winnet. They simply have their own ways of fighting, Zaitan. Both would be staunch allies in this war. Perhaps you're right. The fact that Zaitan could strike at the Priory's heart shakes me to the core. 
I trust you, Master. And the Order of Whispers. And I trust Traherne. Go to the other orders. Set up a meeting. Tell them that the Dermond Priory respectfully wishes to negotiate terms of accord. Thank you, Stuart. I'll do everything I can. Okay. And this is the last time I'll ever take his orders because I will become a general after this. Or one step below general. I don't know. I love that. Oh, how adorable. Everybody's huddling around Santa. Probably asking, you know... Uh, he's probably asking them what they would like for Christmas. I'll let you use your fingers to comb my chest hair. That is... Uh, uh, you almost pulled a VB. Thankfully, I had a glider. You are not turning me into a noun. You, you, I am not becoming a thing, okay? Where if, you know, someone falls to their death, it's called a VB. Hell no. <laughs> Disrespectful. You already are a noun. Now you are becoming a verb. So they're just going to get VB'd? Past tense? I hid. Always claiming I was not yet ready. I did not think all could be cleansed. I feared failure, but you're right. It is time to act. We'll either cleanse the land or return to it. <laughs> get it, because we're so vary. Oh, okay. All right. What the hell? How did you die? Oh, from the cliff. What did you say? You VB'd? How very disrespectful. I am not a verb. Ah. Hey, Tegwin! Do you have your gear? Remember, you're training. Keep your cool. We'll get through this. I'm ready. Where's uh, Karis and the others? On the upper deck. That Order of Whispers fellow, Dewern, has them guarding some specialist. You better get up there. On my way. What the freaking hell? Whoa, whoa, what? Uh, why am I over here? I wonder why that is. Stay close. Follow me, guys. Don't look around. Don't think about it. Just keep your eyes on me. You'll be fine. Oh, wait a minute. Are they together together? You've gathered an impressive force. Having seen ore, though, I'm not sure it will be enough. We are the force in the spirit. One day, uh, we will see ore cleansed. It's less scary than ore, but not by much. Just keep your cool, Karis. You've, uh, you've been trained for this. I know, and I'll try. Thank you, Nilla Fanella. I'm glad you're here. Alright. Blight Balls, the Plague Bringer. There he is. You took Siren from me. I will take your life. I think I saw a bit of Siren between his teeth. Get it? Wow! I'm coming, Siren! <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm being sucked again! No, 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 not this time. Not this time. Not, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Ugh, wait a minute, look at his, look at the, they're like hands. They're not even dragon claws or anything, they're hands, dude. No, 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 no. No, I said! What? No! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> we will take this fort and make it our own. The pact will rebuild it. We will place our banners. And from there, we will strike at the dragon's heart. We'll call it the Cherry Alliance. with the leaders of the orders and gather troops at that location. You deserve some well-earned rest, my friend. Join me when you are ready, and together, we will find a way to slay Zaitan. Okay. 
And level 69. Nice. Oh, you guys were waiting for me. Hello. Ooh. Okay. Deep in the Alonian desert. There's voice acting. Is the voice acting gonna spoil anything? This hidden oasis has been magically spared from the chaos and warfare raging all around it. The lost history of this forsaken hideaway is just waiting to be unearthed. Windswept Haven is a place out of myth and memory. There are tales and told ruin. of treasures hidden beneath its sands. Help me claim Windswept Haven so we can uncover its buried secrets together. Come with me and secure a new home for your guild in Ilona. And of course, Eleanor's naked. All guild halls, uh, all guild halls started, start off ruined after we capture it. Oh, we have to rebuild it. On a high cliff overlooking wild and untamed jungle, there is an ancient fortification. It is a place of beauty and reverence. <coughs> Scholars don't know who built the lost precipice, nor why it was forsaken. Its walls. Once bright with mosaics and so they're all ruins, ruined places are crumbling and cold. For now, the wind whispers down crumbling hallways, speaking secrets to those who dare to listen. Choose the oh, lost naked precipice, men. seek its mysteries, and discover the past while you build your future. Rise to the heights and find a home. Hmm. As we level up the guild, we fix it. Interesting. Very interesting. Kind of reminds me of um, that one Heaven's Word area. The Firmament. There you go. It reminds me of that. Off the coasts of Shinje, where sea spills over into sky, an isle slumbers. Though its shores seem undisturbed by imprints of the past, Ooh. I advise you, look closer. Whoa! When the waves recede, what tales may you find etched in the sands of time? Like the ebb and flow oh, of Oh, this tides, is beautiful! We all waver between past and future across life's eternal ocean. And in walking their intersection, we pave our path in the footprints we leave behind. As you embark on your journey, ask yourself, what story shall I impart in my wake? The answer awaits you at the Isle of Reflection. I think we build our guild there. I'm just saying. It's 3 a.m. here. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. I don't usually stream this long. Holy crap, I'm tired. Oh, thank you guys for hanging out with me for this long. Holy crap. Um, I'll be, as I said, I'll be back on Sunday. We'll do more of the map, and then we'll do the Vigil storyline. I'm going back to streaming Guild Wars 2 on Thursdays and Sundays. Next Tuesday, every Tuesday, will be some single-player game of my choosing. For now, it's going to be Stanley Parable, and then afterwards, um, I'm going to do Darkest Dungeon for a month. You guys have a wonderful night and or morning. Please stay safe. A lot of crazy things are happening in the world right now, and I, you know, would love for you guys to stay in one piece. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you all later.